The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to Happy Friday, as Al always says here at TFNN. I posted the chart for the DAX, as you can see, uh, with the uh, things happening in uh, the UK. It also affected uh, Germany uh, to some effect, but it actually had, has had very little effect uh, in uh, Great Britain as of yet. But I do have some comments that I get from my friends. I have two friends that I – actually, there's three. Um, Tom Hugard doesn't care much about politics, much like I do. But let me explain to you what they have told me. Uh, then we'll go into some of the charts. But basically what Boris Johnson has done is that he has done something that hasn't been done in 84 years. He has a bigger majority now than Margaret Thatcher had. That hasn't happened in 43 years. That means anything he wants to push through parliament can go through usually pretty easily. The biggest part of this thing that happened yesterday was the fact when Scotland, uh, uh, Nicholas uh, Sturgeon evidently got a huge majority, and now Scotland will most probably be moving towards moving out of the European Union also, which is uh, incredible. This was such a landslide that it caught, uh, you know, it, well, you can see from the re the way the markets reacted, that it uh, it was you know truly truly amazing. Now let's let's move on here uh, to the British pound because uh, that's where the the real the real skinny hit the me the metal here. Let's get it up here for a second. I think I've got that big one in here. Oh, Larry, 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 Larry. Just give me a second. Where is this darn thing? Oh, duck on it, boy! I tell you. You know, folks, when you're hitting on three cylinders, you know, <laughs> this is not fun for me. Let's move up here. Um, let's move up here and get this thing out of, out of the way. Oh, shucks. Ah, I'm, uh, I'm stumbling, folks. This is not a good thing. Let me, let's start with the ES then. I, I don't know what the heck happened to that doggone British pound. I've got part of it here, but this is not the part I wanted to talk about. Here's the, uh, here's the reaction here. I want you to do the, you know, well, I'll do the work at the break here because it looks like Tom's not going to be able to be our guest today. He's on holiday and he hasn't gotten back to me. And uh, we'll see. Yeah, I, I know the footsie's finally started to run. Thank you, Steve. Uh, you'll notice here that, uh, uh, the British pound here, uh, that high that we had up there, that, that took out the highs of uh, the uh, early part of the year, and uh, th that was at 134.68. Uh, the 61% retracement on this was 134.68, uh, no, 134.72, and uh, that's where we put out a short recommendation and uh, you can see here now we're down here at 133 and, and change. So if you're in that, you know, put your stop at your break-even point. I will get that chart up, but I, I had this thing ready to go, and I can't find the doggone thing. And that's really frustrating as heck to me. So uh, I will get it back on here. I did want to share with you uh, one other thing. Let's just get this four-hour uh, footsie. Did the footsie get to uh, 7,600 yet? Uh, 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 Steve, because uh, the target on that, the target on that Fitzy was. Uh, uh, don't worry, Terry. I don't have any worries at all. <laughs> and anyway, uh, uh, today's actually a fun day for me, folks. This is the. Uh, our, we have two little Indian casinos here in Tucson. Well, they're pretty good size, but we have the annual uh, Christmas orphanage tournament today. So we have 140 players in, and uh, I am playing under the flag of the Gospel Mission, and uh, so it'll be good, and it's uh, it'll be a lot of fun for, it's a three-day tournament. Okay, let's let's move on here to the E-mini and see what we've got going on. Just remember, folks, what goes up can come down, not necessarily in our lifetimes, but it's possible. 
A lot of emotionalism in the markets, folks. That's the key. We're going to be seeing volatility like we haven't seen, and this is just the beginning. Uh, there's the ABCD structure. We're looking around at that 131.90 level. Uh, we'll see if it gets to that level, 131.90, uh, and watch that uh, relatively closely uh, if you can, because it's another double ABCD patterns. And, uh, uh, you know, these markets, even though they are crazy in nature, they still are moving around, uh, you know, very, very close to uh, what they should be doing. Let me do something here. Hold on one second to see if I did this correctly here. And uh, this might be the answer. No, yeah, you know, here's part of the answer, but I'll get the rest of it here. I wanted to show you here. <clears throat> this is only part of it. I'll have to get the rest of this later when we come to this here. Hey, one other thing. Uh, th this is what the market, when we got to 132, we backed all the way off to 131 and change. That was 150 pip drop, and then we exploded to, to above this 1.618 level. That's what I wanted to show you, because the last two videos that I did for the British Pound on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday uh, were saying that we were going to go to 134, you know, 68 with a very high probability, but I will cover that. I'm going to cover it right now, because I think it's important enough to cover it. So just give me a second here. And we will get it up here to uh, take a quick look at it. Uh, I knew I should have shorted that god darn NASDAQ. <sighs> Boy, this show cost me a lot of money sometimes, folks. All right, let me get this up here, get the weekly up. There we go. This will only take a second. Uh, take more than a second here. To, uh, um, not good to put me in a mood like this. Okay, you'll see that 61% retracement. We took out the highs from 2019 on that big run up. We went above the fib point by about uh, above the 61. See, the first time in March, we did not make it. But once we cleared that, well, the actual number was, I think, 34.71, I believe. And we got as high as, on a, on a fast tick, we got as high as 135.02. We're now trading 170 pips lower. So if you're in that, uh, hang on. Just put your stop at break even because a lot of things that are happening to the British pound are not going to be good. And, you know, look how many we've been straight up since August, other than that little pullback in early October. So uh, this has got uh, potential for something you know really really significant that's uh, one of the things that uh, that we need to pay very very close attention to uh, this will also possibly affect the euro but I'll cover that uh, of course at a different time oh man I, did something just happen I mean I'm watching some things jumping around here that uh, the other thing that was really important yesterday folks didn't even make it into the news, and that is the bonds were down three full points. That That is really, really a lot in the bonds. That really got the bond market shaken up a bit. And uh, if we uh, if we look at this thing here, and I, boy, I know I did the bond chart. Just one second here. Oh, you know what it could be? Uh, this is the bond. Yeah, here's our daily bond chart. Let's take a look at this. And I want to cover the, the TBT, too, because I think that's interesting to look at. But here is the uh, here's the Treasury bonds. We're now back above 157. Uh, we took out the lows of October and by just a little bit, and uh, now we're bouncing. This could be a double bottom. Could be very, very important. Anything below 156, folks, we're heading down to 148. This bond market is in trouble, as is most of the debt market. So. That's what I think. So 877-927-6648. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I wanted to cover a couple other markets here that I think are uh, relatively important. Uh, here is our gold market. Uh, we did get up to the 61% retracement. One second here, and we'll be able to look at this. David, you know, uh, David just posted the, uh, the rules that uh, Paul Tudor Jones lives by. Let me go through them. You know, David, you probably ought to post these every day. They're that good. Lose your opinion instead of your money. Don't ever, 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 ever average losers. Emphasis ever by me. Never trade in situations where you don't have any control. That's what risk control is all about. The only thing we can control in the risk-reward equation is the risk. If you have a position that is making you uncomfortable, the, sl the solution is very simple. Get out. W.D. Gann said, when in doubt, get out, and that's really a good idea. Don't be concerned about where you got into position. Be concerned uh, where you get out of your position. The most important rule in trading is just like professional football. It's playing great defense. The less points you give up, the better chance you have of winning. Every day, assume every position I have is wrong. That's really good because that's telling you that you're not overconfident and don't have an ego. Always question yourself and your ability. That's from somebody who started with nothing and has like a, a four or five billion dollars. And anyway, let's move on to a couple other charts that we wanted to cover here. Let's finish this gold chart, though. As you can see here on this gold chart, we did get up to a 1480 this morning on a high tick. We're trading around 1475 right now. That was the 61% retracement of the high that we had. We broke from 1490 last night or yesterday all the way down to 1466, uh, $24. And now we've been able uh, to rally up to 1480, which is uh, just about exactly $17. It's $16. But if we can get about 1480 again, then we've got uh, a chance to see whether this is actually going to. Uh, 
you know, be very, very good or not. Now, I did want to bring to your attention here, since we were talking about that British pound again and why it was so important, this was from our friends over across the pond. This is the uh, long-term weekly. We've been talking about this quite a bit. You'll notice that that uh, area, the 1.618, we were right up there, uh, and it was, uh, you know, just very, very important when we took out those highs of 2019. And now it, the, the key here, folks, is if we get below uh, 132 now, uh, that's 300 pips. We're down almost two. Well, we are down 200 pips. So if we get below 300 pips, then you got a chance uh, to look at that. Okay, we've got some questions coming in from some of our fun fun people. So let's take a look here. At the first one is going to be the old corn. Uh, we've been friendly to corn, and we'll get this up here. We've had a nice little bounce here in corn so far. Let's get this up here. You'll be able to see it. Uh, there's major support there. We got up. Uh, we're trading above the uh, the 380 level. We're doing March corn now. December is uh, into delivery. So that's one of the ones that we're looking at. And also another one, since we're related to corn, we should really pay attention to the soybeans because we've been uh, relatively friendly to soybeans here. Uh, in the uh, in the 24/7 air area here, and I wanted to bring that one up because I think it was important. And here it is. Here's our March soybeans. If you'll get up here, this was as of uh, this was as of yesterday. You see, we now we're still heading higher. I think we got another 38 cents to go higher. And that 61% retracement you see around that 4, uh, 880, 890 level is very, very important. But frankly, folks, you know, given the fact that this Chinese deal has been done, you know, those things are really, uh, I'll tell you, they're really important. David, I'm, I'm so confident about those posts that you put for uh, from Paul Tudor Jones. I, I would, if if it were my uh, radio show, which it isn't, well, this, is, this part's me, but if it were my Dan, I would post that there where people don't forget it because those those rules uh, really are really very very important. You know that's the main thing. Okay, all right, that's this, and now we want to take a look at the silver and the platinum. Uh, platinum has been pretty easy. Let's get that platinum up here, uh, so we'll be able to take a quick look at it. One second here, just give me the give me a second to get the platinum updated, and then we'll be uh, in good shape. There's a platinum. And, uh, yep, we made it yesterday. Let's get it up here. We'll see here. All righty. Give me a second. There we go. This is going to be a uh, – it's going to be interesting here. Okay, here comes the platinum. As you, as you can see, we made the ABCD up there. It was 948. We're now trading at 933. So we still have the potential for that big ABCD in platinum to come in at 1044. But before we do that, we got to get above 963. So we've been up six or seven days. So watch for a pullback in platinum. The 382 pullback will take you down to about 9, 918, 920. So if we get there and it turns, then uh, take a look at it. We had a really strong week. Went right up to the ABCD on that smaller pattern. But that bigger one's still out there. That's the same thing we have in gold. But until that happens, you know, it's not, uh, it's not really going to go anywhere. Let's Let's take a quick look at the silver. I haven't watched silver here uh, really closely here uh, too much, but let's get it up here, and we'll see where we are. I think we're still heading lower in silver. That, that's I really feel strongly about silver and gold. That's my two, two cents worth, but let's move this over here. Yeah, here's the silver. This will tell you pretty much what we are. It doesn't look very bullish, folks. It, let's get this up here to take a quick look at it. Uh, and I'm gonna. I don't. I, I do April hogs, uh, Ruby. I don't do the. Uh, I don't do February. Okay, this is the silver. You see, we're we're still heading down. I, I believe that 1639 will be very very important. But I think we might hit 1540. And this will all change, folks, if the gold gets above 14. Uh, excuse me, 1495. If gold can get about 1495, then you've got to get bullish the grains, and uh, you know, put your big boy pants on and start buying. That's the way I would. Uh, uh, that's why I would look at it. So, that's what we're watching here this morning. So I hope this is uh, some of the things that we're looking at. Uh, we had one other one that they wanted to look at. We looked at. Did we look at the hogs? I'm pretty sure we did. No, we did not. Let's get the hogs up here. In fact, I was going to chat about the hogs today. 
because I made a little chart for you folks. And if I can just find that puppy, and uh, that's the beans, and that's the gold, and where the puppy, where are the piggies? The disappearing charts. I thought I had this problem solved, but by golly, I don't. I don't know where the piggies are. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something. Uh, eh, I don't want to do the hogs yet. I've got a chart that I want to discuss with you folks, and this is from my good friend over in the U.K., and uh, this is a, hold on one second, move this over. This is what he's looking for as a target in the S&P based on these uh, Fibonacci spirals. And believe me, he has a pretty good handle on these things. Uh, so right around that 32 bucks, 3200, we've been to 3192. So we'll see that. The Wall Street Journal story on the China deal is completely wrong. Their statement in terrorist fake news, they should find a better leaker. Folks, if you believe anything about what that stuff is going on over there, you've you got to remember, boy, Chinese are masters at playing the markets. I mean, they really are. Russia never did very well, but the Chinese are really smart. They really are. So be careful about those tweets. I know they, they move the market a lot. But they can't do it. Uh, Ruby, I'll cover the hogs when we get back to the break here. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you and your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the uh, chart for the little piggies. This is the uh, April hogs. 
he started a little bit of a move, but you know, considering there are no more hogs left in uh, China, that's not much of a move. But uh, I'm not joking about uh, paying attention to these uh, things in China, folks. To pay, I know the markets react a lot to them, but boy, China has a history of reneging on this stuff. They've done this stuff with intellectual property before. Uh, 10 years ago, because I've been to China a lot of times, so I, I've lived through some of that stuff. But uh, And we have a you know, president with a hands-on approach, so you know, whenever he says something, you know, it's, uh, it really moves the market. And I still have my service. You know, I get these tweets ahead of time. So if you're interested in getting those tweets about five minutes before he says something, please get in contact with me. I've got a special number set up. It's uh, area code 520-555-5555, extension 5. And if you believe that, send me five. Let's take a look here at the natural gas, folks. Here's one that's in, in the process of making what I think is a really nice bottom in here. Fortunately, we've got Mr. Z and Ruby and a few other pe people in the room that follow the natural gas really good. We went down there. We took out the lows of October, uh, right just a little below the 78% level at 216. We've now rallied 14 handles to get up to 230 and change. This is a five-day rally, very, very quiet five-day rally. So what you'd be wanting to look at would be to the pullback that you get if we do get it. And that's where I would be watching it, uh, you know, very, very closely in the natural gas. We're uh, in the season, of course, for the cold weather, and it's certainly starting to be cold. But uh, that's one of the things that we're keeping a very close eye on here uh, today. All right. The next one we want to take a look at, if you'll give me a second here. It, uh, any, by the way, if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And someone's asked a question, where did I come up with the name Butterfly? Well, folks, the name of the Butterfly was... Uh, it was Bryce Gilmore. He has a program called The Wave Trader. I think it's probably the best thing I've ever seen for, uh, you know, looking at the markets. It's very similar to what uh, Ensign built for me called the Pesavento Patterns. It basically measures all the swings accurately to the third decimal point, which is far greater than you usually need. You know, usually one decimal point is pretty good. But it, what it does is it, it, it puts in triangles. And years ago, when I was doing charts with Commodity Perspective, when I first started uh, trading, these were uh, 11 by 14, very big uh, charts, you know. And you get them every day, Saturday morning, every day. You get them Saturday morning by special delivery. They were there at your house by 7.30 to 8 o'clock so I could work on them and be ready for Monday. And then the, the old charts I kept for a while. And the very old ones, my kids, my daughter, Laren, would pull those out and she would put stay on the floor with her little straight edge and her, and her crayon and her little plastic scissors. And she would color the triangles in. And then she would cut them out and then would... When she wanted to, she would put one on the uh, refrigerator with a magnet. And by golly, they looked like butterflies. I wish I had some of them. I mean, they, they were priceless, I, and I let them go, <laughs> just like I did my uh, 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 the, the tick, ticker tape that I had. That thing ended up being worth about twenty-five grand because it's big and antique. Now, but that's how that's what happened. It was a it was called a butterfly because all the patterns were clicking and it looked like a butterfly. They were all color coded, and that's where they get it. The Gartley two 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 is on page two twenty two of Gartley's book. On page two twenty one and two twenty two of that book, he spends two full pages discussing what he think is the best pattern that you can trade. And he said, you don't have to pick a top or a bottom. Just buy the first ABCD pattern in a new bull market and sell the first ABCD pattern in a new bear market. Aha, uh -huh. therein lies the rub. How do you know whether it's going to be a new bear market or a new bull market? You don't know that until it's well into you know to making it. But you do have you do have some t uh, hints that the market has has turned. And let me. This is what I was trying to show you this morning, and uh, the way I was doing it was not very good. But let's just look at it up here. This is this British pound. We've been following it very closely. We happen to be to be short this, but look at this. You see the British pound? We had that number up there at the 61% retracement. 
is a 2.618 expansion. I never use that number because it's too big. But you see it comes down, rallies up to the exact 382, to the tick, folks, 134.15, and now it's broken another 100 pips, and we're still heading lower. Once we get, if we do get below 132, you see those highs from this week? If we clear those, if we get below 132, uh, I don't think it'll happen today, but if we do, this is telling you that that British pound has made a major high up in here, just like it did, uh, you know, right around Brexit time. Of course, this was uh, this was a big deal that happened. It was uh, actually my friends in the UK tell me that that is a bigger, bigger deal than uh, than Brexit. So whether that's going to be true or not, I don't know. But Mr. Johnson now has uh, pretty much uh, control of whatever he wants to do. And uh, their feeling is, is that Scotland might leave next. And if Scotland leaves, Ireland is right behind him. And France has been, you know, threatening, well, in Italy, you know, th the European Union. Folks, how do you get 29 people to decide on anything? This was a deal con conjunctured up by the by the Germans. And I don't, I just don't see you can do it. So like the United Nations. How do you never get that thing to work? Oh, that's why Santa has elves. They all believe in him. Okay, let's move on to the next one. If you have any questions, 877-927-6648. And the next one we want to look at here is, the, of course, one of our all-time favorites, and that is the old Bitcoin. We'll get it up here so you folks can take a look at it. We still think it's headed lower. You had a low there. Look at this, folks. It's hardly rallied at all. I mean, and with lower highs, lower bottom, this thing's going lower. Uh, it's got a profit objective of around 5,200, based on the uh, based on that. So we'll keep an eye on uh, keep an eye on that. This is uh, yeah, Marshall saying ho ho ho, folks. This was uh, in my history of being in this business was uh, during the time when I was at Drexel from '82 excuse me, from 76 through 82, the Christmas holidays were, they were just really spectacular. They celebrated everything. And of course, we got Hanukkah coming up here on uh, Sunday, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hanukkah starts on the 22nd. So that'll be interesting. That's a week from uh, two weeks from today. So we'll pay attention to that. Today, by the way, is Treskai Decaphobia, folks. The fear of the number 13, which happens to be a lucky number in the uh, in the old Chinese literature stuff. So, okay, let's get the next one up here. Any other questions we might have? I'm checking to see here. China news conference has been delayed 30 minutes. Guess what? They're probably getting ready to reinstate uh, whatever else they were going to do. I <laughs> You got to love this volatility, folks, but believe me, it's, uh, you know, yeah, you're not, it, it was very unlucky number for the Knights Templars, that's for sure. That's where Treskai Decaphobia comes from, I believe, doesn't it, David? So we'll see here. Okay, we will have, hopefully have Tom on uh, sometime after the first of the year. I'm not going to bother, bother him because he's not going to be back until... January 7th, and he's with his lovely family, and I certainly don't want to bother him. We'll take a little break here. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. In the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I've got to cover the TBT, but before I get to that, I wanted to uh, bring a, start, a chart to your attention that was... Uh, uh, on the uh, uh, was on Bloomberg here, and I just wanted to because it's uh, Warren Buffett's uh, Berkshire Hathaway. I wanted to get this up here and take a look at it. You can see here we're we're breaking out here. We, we're either making a double top up in here, uh, or it's off to the races, which it certainly could be. But that is a beautiful Gartley down there. Where you see point four, that's a perfect A B C D Gartley right off of point C. All of that is just saying that this thing was really, you know, poised to go higher, and it certainly is going that much higher already. Now, let's get up here and get the TBT up. I had it all ready to go, and evidently, I don't know what happened to it. I think Ensign has changed their format just a little bit in here, but let's get this uh, look at I'm going to look at it two different ways. The first way we're going to look at it is on the short term that we should be uh, still going higher. But remember, folks, the key to this is going to be the bonds, because that bonds, if we get below 156, we're looking at something with a major, major bottom. And if we look here at the TBT, and we're going to take a quick look at it, this is going to be the long-term weekly. Uh, well, the, the, uh, Jimmy D is saying, which of the banks is causing all the Fed liquidity issues? Well, Deutsche Bank has got to be in there. HSBC is next. I don't think it's JP Morgan because they're pretty well managed, and Citibank could certainly be it because they're not well managed. Remember, they had to have a reverse split just to stay so people could invest in them way back in uh, 2009. But look at here at this uh, long-term weekly chart uh, in the uh, in the TBT, uh, just back in 2015, where it went from 53 to 23, so we dropped more than in half. But look at the ABCD pattern there, folks. That's what you look for. You know, this spot on. Look at that. That's right at the money. ABCD. So we should have one heck. This is a weekly chart. So the the weekly chart says we should get up to at least 34. That's what I'm 34 to 35. We're trading at 26 right now. If that if the bonds break, and that's a big if. We got it easy to get to, to, to 35, and if things get really crazy, you, you don't really know because this thing could really be, uh, you know, really be a major bottom in here. Look, we've been here. We bottomed in August, September. That's when the bonds topped. They haven't done very much, but neither are the bonds. But uh, you know, everybody's lost interest in them, and now's not the time to uh, to take a look at it. So that's what it looks like to me. I hope that is correct. I lost my camera. Well, let me see what happened here. I. 
Uh, let's get this back up here so we can take a quick look at it again. Uh-oh, don't tell me I missed it. All right, just give me a second to bring it back up. I, oh, dear. All right, there we have got the daily. There's the weekly. Hold on just a second here. Ah, oh, boy. All righty, let's get this up here so we can let's move this over and just to see how, just to see how this, oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, folks, but look at this. This is just uh, this is just during the period of uh, look at this chart of the uh, long term TBT. Look at this thing headed down. Now, what we've done now since the 2015, we have completed we have completed that big ABCD pattern. But uh, th this is this could oh boy if this thing gets going and. Uh, Nobody thinks that it can, but if it does, and if it does, if we get it above 28, then it could really have a pretty good chance. But uh, right now, it's still under a great deal of trouble. But, uh, boy, that, that's that's really interesting. If you're really bearish bonds, this is the one you want to buy because it's very, very low in price. You wouldn't have to risk more than a couple bucks. But uh, not many people think that could ever happen, which they might be right. You just never know. That's for sure. You just never know whether it's going to be right or not. We don't know. All right. Let's move on to one other one. To, oh, the gold. Uh, yeah. The gold. We, we need gold to get above that high we made this morning. We're very close to it now. We need to get above that 1479 level and then it could have a little bit of a move to the upside and I think we could probably you know probably do that so that's another hold on I got a message coming in here uh, okay well I don't know whether these things are coming back or not but uh, ouch oh, hold on just a second here okay all right all right let's see what the next one that I had in line here and that was the uh, Someone had a question about the copper. We've already talked about that, but we'll bring it in again. Hold on a second here. Uh, RBS, Royal Bank of Scotland, is up 10%. Oh, that's because of that uh, Nicholas Sturgeon winning. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, the banking stocks would probably move like that with him winning because that means they're, they're getting uh, – the U.K. breaks it. Yeah, that's right. The breaks it's going to be in trouble. So watch the euro for a short sale, folks. We've already – uh, confirm that that pound has done something. So keep an eye on that euro for a uh, for a sale. Let's just watch that euro since we were looking at it this morning or this week. Oh dear, look what we got to last night. You're not going to believe this. Hold on just a second. Shuck. Sometimes this Fibonacci stuff really does work. Uh oh, just a second. Let me get it out of the way here. Wow, pretty pretty cool stuff. All right. Uh, there he is, the number 111.80. Guess what we hit last night in the Euro, folks? You can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. So it does work. Uh, the matter of fact, uh, sometimes it doesn't work, but when it does, uh, we hit uh, 111.70 was a number, and we hit 111.85 was the high, and bada bing, bada boom, we're trading under that right now. So it looks like uh, we're going to get ready to see to see that uh, to see that happening, I'm going to share with you since I've got some time to kill, and uh, we're looking at something. This is something those of you that like to take natural gas, I want to uh, just put an eyeball on this. This happens to be the uh, uh, the uh, AI program overlooking over uh, handling the natural gas. Watch natural gas at 11:30, folks. This is Friday 11:30, but from 11:30. Uh, 1530, uh, that could be a very nice trending move to the downside. I don't know how you handle that, but uh, it says that it should go up until 1130. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but uh, and then uh, move to the downside. By the way, it worked very well yesterday. Okay, the next one that we need to watch is, let me see, we covered the euro, the gold, the platinum. Well, I think that's it. Well, good night, boys and girls. No, we got only a minute to go. 877-927-6648. See if there's any questions posed again here. Uh, yes, the, uh, the the Scotland, they told me last night, early this morning, that, that Scotland would be the next, then Ireland, then Italy, and then when France does it, then it's over. And then that's when the old, that, I mean, that might be the black swan that's out there, folks, if the European thing breaks up. I know they're living in, they were living in High Hog uh, earlier this morning, but uh, that it's amazing how these numbers work with Fibonacci's with elections and other stuff, too. So unfortunately, they don't work all the time. But when they do, they work pretty good.
these grains have not moved very much, you know, given the fact that we've had uh, such a big move, uh, you know, in some of the other things that the grains, if this Chinese deal is going to go through. And $50 billion, frankly, folks, is not a lot of money for China to buy. So that, you know, <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear about that, Jay. But remember, when God closes the doors, he opens the window. That's what my grandma always used to say. All right, we're going to take a little break here. When we get back, we're going to see uh, where we are with some of these markets. And we'll look at the NASDAQ on a long-term basis. And we'll pay a few uh, other quotes that you might have. We'll uh, look at whatever we can. Okay, very early and often. <laughs> All right, folks, 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, by way of a programming note, I will not be on the air on Monday, but I will be there Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and also the following week. But if we take a quick look at this NASDAQ that I posted here on a weekly basis, folks, we are in the 12th week of a run-up, and today's uh, Treskai Decaphobia, fear of the number 13, if you have any fear of that, which most people don't. But... If you'll also keep an eye on the fact that what goes up must come down, but not necessarily in our lifetime. I know there's going to be a lot of volatility in here, and you couldn't get anybody to sell stocks if you gave them a, 
a, one, a quarter mile running start in a half mile race. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We need to be watching the euro very, very closely, folks, because the euro made a major, major fib point up there yesterday, A, B, C, D. Uh, we preferred to go short the pound, which happened to be the better one. So that's pretty much it. Remember, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, folks. It's learning how to dance in the rain and dodge those really heavy raindrops. So make sure you do that. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. I got a minute here for one other question, and someone's asked a question about why I like astrology. I'll cover that next week because I need to post a few charts showing you the, the things that Dr. Miller, who's still, still with us, 95, but unfortunately she has advanced Alzheimer's, but she's still alive. Uh, Jeannie Long, those of you that belong to Fibonacci Trader, send out the white light for Jeannie, folks. She's uh, she's just about ready to pass, and uh, it's very sad. I've known Jeannie a very long, her and Robert Krause, but uh, she's very, very ill. Her daughter, Linda, contacted me to tell me. And uh, anyway, send some white light out for her because she's a real classy lady. She used to come to Tucson, and uh, her and Robert used to visit me years ago. Uh, up until 2002. So that's the main thing we want to be watching about. Okay. And <laughs> Marshall, I'll let you do that, my friend, but we've already got that planned. You betcha. So you folks have a wonderful weekend and remember to help the, help the people that need it, folks, because uh, we're one of the lucky ones. May God bless.